been vlogging because I'm finally home and I finally have room to stand and vlog. Isn't that exciting? I got an ask on Tumblr the other day saying, if you can have questions, will you do a Q&A? And I was like, sure, I'll totally do a Q&A, but I don't think I'm going to get enough questions. And then I woke up the next day with a bunch of questions in my inbox. So I was like, guess I'm doing a Q&A. You ask and you shall receive. So without further ado, first question. Favorite Avenger? Iron Man? Duh! Robert Downey Jr.? Also, he went to my school, which is kind of cool. What's the best thing you've ever done in your own opinion? Um, either traveling around Europe last summer because that was an absolutely incredible experience. There was so much art, which I was really excited about, and good food. Oh my god, the food! I thought it was gonna die. Um, either that, or starting this YouTube channel. What college do you currently attend? I go to MIT, and a lot of you also ask what I'm studying. Um, I am majoring in writing with the subset of digital media, and it's kind of hard to explain what like digital writing is, but basically I've structured it so that I'm taking a bunch of writing and film classes. Sorry, just had to take off my pants. I was wearing sweatpants earlier because it was cold, and I'm in a dress, so I was like, might as well put some sweatpants on under it, and now it's hot, so I took them off. If you could have your own theme song that plays every time you enter a room, how would it go? You gotta strive to mean it. Free your mind. It's not enough just to dream it. Come on, come on, get up. When you're feeling it's your chance to shine. Do you have any role models that are celebrities and such? I do have quite a few people that inspire me in different ways. For example, Robert Downey Jr. He went way off the deep end and completely screwed up his life, but he was able to get his shit together and now he's just like destroying the world with his awesomeness. And I think that's pretty cool. And then also like, I'm really interested in filmmaking. So Kick the PJ really inspires me with his creativity and such. But I don't think there's anyone that I look up to and say, I want to be just like you. Cause you know, I think it's important to want to be the best version of yourself. And this is going to turn into an hour long discussion if I don't stop now. So I'm gonna, yep, yep. If you had a pet potato, what would you name it? I would name it. Peter. Show us the coolest thing in a 50 meter radius. Uh, 50 meters is big, yes? We don't use meters, I don't know. I think that should cover my entire house. What's interesting in my house? There's a Harry Potter book in Latin down there. That's not interesting. Um, ooh, there's something. It's not very cool, but it's kind of creepy. Here, I'll show you. Gotta take you off the tripod, though. Because you want a tripod, because tripods are useful when you're filming, but not when you want to go show people things in your garage. Of course it's in my garage, because creepy things are in people's garages. And under your stairs, sometimes. We have something creepy under our stairs. It's this kid named Harry Potter, and he causes all this trouble. Anyway, um, so there are yellow stripes on the screen. I think that's because of this light. I am horribly sorry. Um, anyway, there's this thing up there. Um, it kind of looks like a dead body, uh, right there. I assure you it's not a dead body. Um, it's a mummy that we bought for Halloween quite a few years ago. We haven't taken it out in a really long time. Maybe it has turned into a dead body. Um, but for some reason, we decided to wrap it in a towel and store it up there. So every time I walk into the garage, I see this thing. Like, just up there, like, chilling, like, looks like we got dead people in here. It's not cool. I don't like it. It's creepy. We need to get rid of that thing. Let's go back inside before it wakes up and attacks me. Which one of your eyes do you like better? Um, let's focus this. Which eye, which eye do you like better? Huh? Huh? Oh. Oh, I just put my nose on a lens, that's not good. If you were talking to everybody in the universe and you knew they were listening, what would you think would be the most important thing to say? We're getting pretty deep here. But seriously, if you feel different or lonely, you are not alone. If you give it time, things will get better. Nutella versus maple syrup. What? Talk about your first baseball game. For those of you who don't know, I am kind of a pretty big baseball fan. When people go, oh, I hate watching baseball, it's so boring. I get super defensive and I'm like, no, just stop. Anyway, my parents started bringing me to baseball games before I could like talk, so I don't remember my first game that I went to. 
Um, but the first game that I do remember is the one where Tony Gwynn was retiring and there's this huge ceremony at the end and there were all these fireworks and some guy flew around with a jetpack and that actually made me start obsessing over jetpacks for like the next couple years. I had dreams about jetpacks. I asked Santa for a jetpack. I just really wanted a jetpack. What happened to Matt Smith's eyebrows? They're just delicate, okay? What was your first fandom and can you do a flip? First fandom Harry Potter and no, I cannot do a flip. I am the least flippable person ever. Do you want me to die? Who is your favorite YouTuber? Picking my favorite YouTuber feels like picking between my children, not that I have any children, but anyway, since I can't pick, here is a list of everyone I'm subscribed to that I would never unsubscribe from, minus all of their side channels. I know, it's a lot. Favorite Glee character, mine is Kurt. Um, I haven't seen season five because I just haven't been keeping up with TV stuff while in college, but before that, I would have to agree with you. Mine was Kurt, too. So I think that's a good place to end. Um, that was a lot of questions. Thank you guys for submitting all the questions. You are lovely. Leave questions for a future Ask Marissa down there. Also, if you have a better suggestion for a title for Q&As on this channel, Ask Marissa just doesn't have a nice ring to it. So if you think of something, let me know. I was thinking about making it, this is not a Q&A, but then people will be like, well, what is it? And I'll be like, it's a Q&A. And they'll be like, I don't get it. So maybe not that, um, but yeah. Oh, give me your thumbs. Give me your subscribies. Not scrape scabies. Don't give. Don't give me that. Give me the subscribies. Um, yeah. That's it. See you guys soon. Bye. I have to admit, it was really weird seeing my own face projected on a building, and it was even weirder watching people watch me who thought that it could be a live stream of my room. I like standing and filming. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you a secret. I love chocolate. <laughs> you can see it in news. I hope I don't get anything up there. Yeah. Goodbye.